Okay, so let's say you've got two lists and you want to compare them and highlight in each list the uh, similarities or the exact matches, not similarities, between them. So like right here in this list, we would want to highlight apples and we'd want to highlight apples here and we would want to um, highlight, uh, is there any others, peaches here and here. Okay, and uh, there's no other similarities right now. So here's the trick to it. We're going to start with um, column A, conditional formatting, and we'll do new rule. And we're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. <coughs> and we're going to do a count if, and if there's a count that's greater than zero, that means there was a match. Okay, and here is the trick. The range that we want to look at for the matches is going to be the other list. Okay, so I highlighted the other list. Uh, notice that we have our dollar signs in front of the column and the row for each piece of the range. So basically, as this gets filled down to all the different cells, it's going to... Uh, always look in the same place. Now, here is the part that a lot of people get really mixed up on. So I'm going to put my comma in right there. I'm going to go over to this list, or I'm sorry, this list that we're actually applying it to. And I'm going to click only on the first row of that list. Okay. And the way it looks right now, we have a dollar sign in front of the A and a dollar sign in front of the 1. Those are absolute references, so as this formula gets copied down, if we leave it like this, it's always going to look at A1, which isn't going to make a lot of sense. As long as there's one match in the C column, it'll highlight them all, so that's not what we want. We actually want it to float uh, as you go down the rows. So that when it's applied to this one, it's going to look at A2, A3, A4, and so on. So you just take the dollar sign out of the, um, the thing that you're looking to match with. Okay, so I'll close my parentheses and do greater than zero. That means there's a match. Okay. And then I'll do format, and I'll just use this. You could pick whatever colors you wanted or what have you so I'll click OK and now you can see that when there is a match to anything on this side that cell that matched will be highlighted so if I change passion fruit to uh, kumquat now kumquat gets um, highlighted okay so as it changes it will automatically um, fix itself now, let's repeat the same process on the other side as a matter of practice and as well as to get all of the matches over here highlighted. So, I'm going to go up to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. I'm going to use a formula again, just like I did a minute ago. I'm going to do equals count if. Okay, and this time, my range that I want to look in for matches is going to be the A column, notice that I leave the dollar signs in front of the A and the 1 and the A and the 5. That means as the formula gets copied around, it is always going to look at this range. It's not going to shift. Those are absolute references. And then I'll do a comma, and I'm going to click on the first item in my selection here. And remember, I want the column to stay the same, but I want the row to float so I have to click with my mouse uh, to the right of that dollar sign and backspace now I can pick a different color like that and when I click OK I should have matches in the appropriate places if I change peaches to cherries Notice that it changed and shifted, so everybody should be relatively happy. All right, I hope that helped. Thanks.